Hello, Master Mo here. Um, from Cho's Taekwondo Center, West Time. Greetings. And uh, this is a not so Taekwondo video. Um, it's I'm doing it because before you start a yoga routine, you need to learn correct breathing. And so this video is on breathing. It's going to be probably three or four minutes. We're going to practice Buddha breathing, which is a Buddha breathing, which is a kung fu breathing technique to help you learn the breath control. So then when we do the yoga, it'll make more sense. It also fits right along with uh, regular Taekwondo. Uh, before we start, let's chit it. All right. So <clears throat> uh, think about when you're doing Taekwondo, when you're chambering, before you execute a technique, you're, you're inhaling as you're chambering and positioning yourself. And then when you execute the technique, you exhale. Okay, so same thing in this. So what we're going to do is, let me tell you a couple things about breathing first, and then we'll practice the Buddha breathing quite a bit, and then that will be all we're going to do on this video. So um, the inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth works perfectly fine. Here, get in a riding stance position. You might as well be working your quadriceps while we're talking and listening. So inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. That works perfectly fine for yoga, taekwondo, whatever you want to do. I've also read in Ashtanga Yoga that they breathe in and out through their nostrils, through their nose. They take the tip of their tongue, touch it to the roof of their mouth, and then they only breathe in and out through the nose. You could try that too, see if that works for you. As Ke Master Kevin says, there is no wrong or right. You try many different kinds of techniques, of course you always want to be safe, and you see what works for you and don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Take what uh, works for you, adjust it slightly to your style, to your temperament, to your strengths and weaknesses, and don't do thing, not do things because it's a weakness. Try it out, try to make it a strength. You might like it. And anything that you do, can't use, you just let it fall away. And that's uh, not just in Taekwondo or yoga or Buddha breathing, but in life. You know, stay open, try new things, and keep what works for you. Okay, that's it. Riding stance. Hands in this position. When you in you inhale when you hold the position or the, the posture or the asana, and you exhale when you move. So inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Holding still. Exhale. Moving. Deepen the stance. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So try to make the, if you're going to practice this Buddha breathing, make the breaths longer makes the exhales fuller. That's a good way to start working your breath. Okay, inhale. Oh, my bad, I, I messed up on that. Okay, holding still, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Very good. Okay, a couple more things about breathing. Um, 
if you practice this breathing, the Buddha breathing, the breathing during, especially yoga, the next yoga thing I'm going to show you on the next video, uh, it will really help you immensely if you practice yoga and practice your breathing. It'll make your Taekwondo technique stronger, it'll make your breathing in Taekwondo better in your patterns and in your executing of techniques. Also, it'll help you in your day-to-day -day breathing, and that is awesome, okay? You will be breathing deeper in your day-to-day -day work and exercise and activities. Also, the breathing deeply gets more oxygen and blood to your brain and your muscles. Helps your brain work better. If you ever find yourself upset, taking some really nice deep full breaths, breaths down into your belly and fully exhaling, doing that several times, that will calm your body, which helps to calm your emotions, which helps to calm your brain. So breathing is really foundational, not just to yoga, taekwondo, Buddha breathing, but also breathing is foundational to life. It is life. So with that said, uh, up. Kune. Happy practicing. Peace.